guys, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be doing an awesome project that has to do with weaving. And if you've never done any type of weaving, don't be intimidated. I promise it's not that hard. Here's my example right here. You'll notice the weaving part is in the center and you'll also be creating a design on the outside, a radial design. And I'll walk you through every step of it. So let's get started. So the supplies you'll need for today's project are some white cardboard cake circles or if you don't have those or have access to them you can always just use a paper plate and we'll talk about how to cut um, the numbers later. You'll also need some thin white string, um, some tape, markers, a pencil, and then just like a circle template and I'm using a roll of tape for mine and then scissors. And so to get started today we are going to use this circle template to center this circle in the middle of the white one because this was where we will create our weaving later. And so I'm simply tracing that onto my white circle. And at this point, we're going to create what's called a radial design. And radial design is just a design that radi out radiates out from a center point or circle. It has a balance due to evenly placed shapes and designs. And so when you begin drawing your designs around your center circle, you'll want to consider color when you start coloring them in so that it will have balance. And I'm just going to start with simple triangles going around the circle. So now that I've finished drawing out my radial design, I'm ready to begin adding color with marker. And you could choose to do this with paint, um, markers, colored pencil, whatever your medium of choice is. You will leave um, the center circle blank. You'll notice I didn't draw any design there and that's because that's where the weaving will be. And so I will just leave this alone and color the portions around the circle. So now I've finished my radial design and it's time to prepare the loom. And the loom is basically the foundation or base that's used to create a weaving. And so that's essentially what the cardboard circle is for. We just have to prepare it and get the strings onto the loom. And so I've made this template and basically what you need is an odd number of pretty evenly spaced notches or lines. On your loom and so I'm gonna lay the template that I've made in advance on top and I'm just gonna make a little mark to where I should make a cut and I don't cut out notches I just make a simple straight cut on each line but it is helpful to make a template in advance if you can Okay, and now that I've finished with that, I'll simply take the scissors and cut each little notch. At this point, after you've cut your notches, you're going to take your thin white string and you're going to begin by taping it to the back of your cardboard circle or your paper plate. And you do want to make sure that you 
attach it well and pressure tape down so that it doesn't slide out. And so to create the loom, we will take our string and go straight across our circle. And I'll go to that one. And then on the back, we'll wrap it around to the next notch and come across to make an X. And then you flip it over and just go to the next one beside it, make a short line, and then go back across in a continued X pattern, flip it over, go to the next notch, straight across, flip it over to the next notch, and straight across, and you just continue that pattern as you go. And then I'll come straight across the back. And I'll cut my string a little long. And at this point, I will lift up the first string I started with, which is under all of the others, and lift them up. I can pull it straight across. And then I will knot it kind of to itself. I've just made a big loop. And now I'll go under and pull. And that tightens the strings on my loom. And I do it a second time just to ensure that it's on there really good. And then you can trim this string that's in the middle. Um, just don't trim it too short because you don't want it to come untied. And we're going to leave it long enough so we can tuck it into our weaving in a moment um, and hide that string. And so now it's time to begin the actual weaving process. And a weaving is basically when you're using string or thread or yarn in an over-under pattern, typically on a loom, to create a fabric, textile, or a work of art. And so I've got a pile of yarn to use, and I'm going to start maybe with a pink color in the middle. And I will simply begin, like the same way as I tied my white string, by sliding it under and tying a knot. To secure it to the loom and I'll cover these pieces in a minute when I start weaving I'll be able to tuck them under my work but I'm going to start with my long end of the yarn and I just pick a string to start at it doesn't matter where you start so I'll start here and I'll go under and then skip this one and then under skip this one under and after every three or four you're going to kind of need to pull your piece of yarn so it does not get tangled. And then I can see right here that it is under this one. So that means I would skip that one, go under this one, skip this one, go under. And I can go ahead and pull again. And you can see it kind of caught my piece of string there. And I can just pick that out and pull it tight. And then when you're ready, go ahead and start tucking it under your string so it'll get covered up. And so then I lift up and I see it's under that string. So that means skip one, under, skip one, under, skip one, under, skip one, under, and then we'll pull our string. And you'll see that it's beginning to make a circular pattern. And then I'll continue on. I want to go enough so that you can kind of see the pattern that it will make clearly. And it's starting to get there. And I can pull that little white string now. I've got enough and I can tuck it kind of under the little center circle we've made to hide it. And then continue on. Now you can see the circle that I've started in the center and I'll just keep going at this point. A 
Okay, so now I'm approaching the end of my first string, and so that means it will be time to tie on um, the next string. And so when you still have a little bit left, you'll choose your next color, and I'm gonna go with yellow. And so I will take my two strings and just simply make an X, wrap it around kind of like when you're tying your shoe, pull it down, make another X, push it through the center, and pull down, and that gives me a knot. And these strings you'll watch as I weave, but I will tuck those under this center circle. And so I was under that one, and then I'll continue my over-under pattern and pull. And don't let those little strings stress you out. They'll just go right along um, with your string as you go. You just pull them through like they're not there. And I'll go a little bit further and then tuck them under. And so now I can go back. Pull those little pieces out and then just lift up the center and kind of shove them under there. And so now we can't even see where I changed colors because those pieces are tucked under and as I go around and the yellow covers that up, um, it'll just look like a smooth transition. And now from this point on, I'll just keep going and each time um, I run out of or I get toward the end of one color, I'll just tie in the next color and go until I reach where my marker design begins. So now that I've reached the end of my weaving, I'm going to take my last little bit of string and simply go under this one and then I'm going to loop around to make a knot. And then I'm just going to pull it so it makes a knot right here and then I will just take this piece and lift up the circle and tuck it under like I had my other pieces and then you have a finished radial design weaving. I hope you had fun with your weaving. I would love for you to share it with me on social media. You can find the links in the description below. Thanks!